this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Chainsaw by the band Perry. And it starts off with this really, really, really cool intro lick where you could play the open G string. I'm doing that four times, kind of a one or O, 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 kind of G, 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 G. And then we go to fourth fret on the D string, second fret on the D, third fret on the A, second fret on the A, and then open A. It's kind of that intro lick, kind of G, 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 four. kind of come back and do that idea again, kind of the four G notes, and then you go to fourth fret on the D string, and then we can play the open G and kind of do a hammer on the second fret, so you can play the open G, and then kind of put your finger down just quick enough to kind of carry the sound the second fret, and then we almost kind of repeat that actually, kind of that O, 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 four, two, three, two, O, 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 four, O, two, becomes a, a verse idea, but, but really that's all around an A major chord. Let me play A major. First finger goes to the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string 2nd fret. It's a big party on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And while you're on the A in general, it can be kind of cool to lift off the 3rd th uh, finger, make that an A suspended 2nd. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string 3rd fret and kind of get an A sus out of that. Um, or you may want to even consider lifting off the 2nd finger. That was a dangerous figure to lift, but it makes an A7. Or you could even readjust your fingers and put in the pinky on the high 3rd for an A7. Kind of big on that through the team. Or you may want to think about an A7 sus, where you could do 1st finger on the D 2nd, 2nd finger on the G 2nd, 3rd finger on the B 3rd, pinky on the high 3rd. Kind of working that around with an A2. But the main thing there is that lick, and you may want to kind of try and work kind of that A, even just that, that second fret on the D string note, maybe kind of around that, that lick, actually kind of. Oh, 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 four, two, three, two, oh. Oh, 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 four, oh, two. So I'm doing a lot of just down ups, kind of trying to bring out that lick around it. another guitar player or not. Um, or you could use a strum pattern. And there's a couple different strummings you may, you may want to think about through the tune. You could even think about just down strokes, actually just kind of feeling the eighth note through the tune. Down, 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 down. Kind of, kind of putting my, my right hand down a little bit on top of the saddle and make that a little bit sneaky if you kind of dig on that. Or you can even try and follow the leg that way too. strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you take the A and just try that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, which would be kind of slow pace through that intro. Or well, what I was kind of gravitating to is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot at the B, Right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. Kind of a one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth notes from patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the A and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up.
a, another cool little lick through the tune, actually, is you'll, you'll hear a lot of hammer-ons into chords. Actually, put through the tune. So I was kind of digging on this, kind of taking the A, even kind of working the whole chord shape. Or part of the chord shape is kind of hammer-on into the, into the tune, or into the, the, the chord. It's kind of cool. So kind of starting without the, the chord down. Kind of putting the left hand down with enough force, especially on the first down of the 16th. intro though we'll be kind of repeating that lick um, going into kind of four A chords and then we go to a D major chord and the way you play D major first finger goes the G on the second fret second finger on the high E second fret and third finger on the B string third fret and if you show them the D string to the high E string uh, the beautiful sounds of D major um, now while you're on D's in general and actually you definitely hear some hits around this uh, through the tune you may want to lift off the second finger which is always a dangerous finger to lift makes a D suspended second, which is a cool sound around the D. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord to kind of save some things around the D chord. And then from the D on the reverse, we go back to our A major chord. And then from the A, we go to an E major chord. And when you play E major, first finger goes to the G on the first fret, second finger on the A string second fret, and third finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really Randomly on this particular E major, you may want to lift off the third finger, make that an E7, or you could add in the pinky on the B string third for an E7. And then from the E, we go back to a D major. It's almost kind of like this quick hit where if you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, you may want to do just a down, down, up, and then a down and kind of kill the strings. Or if you're digging on the 16th, you may want to do kind of down, 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 up, down, and kind of kill the strings. So through our whole verse, actually, you could use either one of those strummings. But kind of A, 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 strings and then from there then we go into our chorus and our chorus starts on the A major but then we go to a D major and a G major and we play G major first finger goes to the A on the second fret second finger on the low E third fret third finger on the high E third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy now you may also want to dig on putting the third finger on the B third pinky on the high E third and kind of working that for your G major from the beginning, it's almost like we do kind of an A count for the A, and then we half a D for the G, and then back to A, and then we half a D, and then we half a G, and then we half an A, but then we go to a C major chord, and then we play C major. First finger goes the B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the A third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, it sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. And on C's in general, you may want to think about lifting off the first finger, making that a C major 7. Or you can add in the pinky on the B string third for a C major 9. Or another way to play C major 9. You can kind of do the first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that for your C major 9. And then from the C, you go to a D major chord. D to an F major chord, and normally you do this as a first fret bar, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the A third, pinky on the D third, and we're getting that for your F major chord. Although if you're just starting out, it gets substitute for that F major seven, where you do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the D third fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, the groovy sounds of F major seven. Now you may also dig on an F major thirteen. Home where you can do first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working that for your F, kind of dig on that if that's a little bit easier to get to. And then we end up back on our A major chord. And on the second A through that 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 tag, actually, you kind of hear this cool little lick come in where you can play open G, second on the G, first fret on the B, second fret on the G. It's kind of like a little tag lick, kind of like a G A C A G A C A. Which you could 
even do from uh, from open to second to fifth fret on the G string too, if that makes that easier. And that might even be kind of cool to kind of work that around the A chord. Kind of, I'm, I'm kind of taking first finger on the D string second. on the downs and the down, down, up, up, down, up, you'd have kind of that A, really slow, actually, A, down, up, up, down, and you may want to do the D and the G with just the down, down, up, through the A, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, up, G, down, up, A, down, up, C, down, up, D, down, up, F, down, up, split the pattern between the, the half and chords and actually kind of doing the D for instance with the down, down, and then going to the G for the up, up, down, kind of dig on that. So you have the A, D, down, down, D on the up, up, down, D on the down, down, D, down, D, down, D on the up, up, down, A, down, down, C on the up, up, down, D on the down, down, up on the up. work those those as kind of the down 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 up on each of those chords or you can split the pattern too you can do the D with the down 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 up and then go to the G for the up down down up kind of that. just do the chorus that way you have the A Turn actually kind of around that that intro lick actually kind of comes back and you know, something else you may want to add to the song with this bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down or the down 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 up up down down up down you can throw in a bass note for the chord so on the A you'd have the A for the bass on the D you'd have the D for the bass on the E you'd have the low E string for your bass. Turns just a bass down, up, up, down, up, too. I have A with a bass down, down, A with an A bass down, up, A with an A bass down, up, down, up. Or if you're digging on the 16th pattern, you can add basses to that. And you can make it a bass down, down, up. So we're trying to adding basis to that. We'd have the A. with kind of a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have the A with an A bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, with a D bass.
there, then we'll be going into our bridge part. And our bridge starts on D, and then we go to a C major, and then we go to an A major, and then we got another A, and then we go back to D, and then C, and then you'll kind of hear where it almost kind of kind of drops down a, a notch, actually. We kind of go into this cool little, little A lick, where you can play second fret on the G, and then we go first fret on the B, third fret on the B, open E, and then third fret on the B. So we're gonna kind of follow that, like kind of two, 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 one, three, oh, three. Oh, or you can do that as the third fret, the fifth fret slide on the B string. You want to kind of do that instead of the open, actually. Might, might depend on whether you're trying to work it around the chord. into it. This cool little walk down actually where we start on a G major, but then you kind of hear the bass go down to the second fret on the low E string F sharp. And you may want to back that up with a D major chord, but if you kind of take your thumb, you can kind of put him in a, on the low E string second fret, make that a D slash F sharp or a D major with an F sharp in the bass. Or you could readjust the fingers and do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second, pinky on the B string third. Kind of worry about the D slash F sharp. Or you may want to think about a D sus slash F sharp. Or you do first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. Kind of working all those together for the D slash F sharp. The bass note there would definitely be on the low E. And then from there we go to an E major chord and we can have another big E in it. So we tried that with a bass down up, up, down up. We kind of have that D. of how you get strung through Chainsaw by Band Parrot. So good luck.